what's going on you guys welcome back to another video before i get into this video i just want to send a really good word of appreciation to everyone who continued to visit my channel that goes to the old subscribers and the new subscribers i really appreciate y'all being here and thank you so much for the support also please please share these videos please share these videos and again, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for visiting my channel. Now, in this video, I want to talk about how the narcissist can escape bad karma. Now, the narcissist, when we witness the narcissist downfall, the first thing we usually think about is, well, that's their bad karma. That's their karma. That's what they get. You know, we feel like, that's their payback for the harm that they have caused. And narcissists, they feel weak. So beating us down is what makes them feel powerful. Other than that, the narcissists, they stand on nothing. They stand on nothing but, you know, wicked intentions. That's the only thing that gets them by. Um, and when we witness their downfall, it humiliates them and they might even disappear for a while, but make no mistake. It doesn't matter how embarrassed they are around you. They still find ways to target you or blame you for the situation that they're in. The narcissist's downfall makes them feel defeated. Even though the whole while they had a choice in the way they handled the situation, which would have prevented it all from happening in the first place. And they know firsthand what they are doing. They always have bad intentions, though. And with a narcissist and the bad intentions comes bad karma. But not only with a narcissist, that goes for anyone, anyone in the world. I feel like if you put out bad energy, you'll receive bad energy. Well, that's not always the case because I'm surrounded by bad energy at work all the time because I don't give them what they want. So I guess they perceive my energy as bad energy because they're not able to to pull anything from me, if that makes any sense. But a lot of times, you know, like messy people attracts mess and they know it. They know the crowd to, to entertain. They know what they, they know what they're doing. Trust me. But the narcissist, you know, they have a choice. They had a choice the whole while to be obedient and do all things with decency and in order but they chose to go the other route and do things their way and that's where the bad karma set in at see i believe what defines a narc's bad karma is the consequences that they suffer from their bad intentions and you know it's just a couple of examples if you don't pay a bill you lose services or other actions can be taken against you that can, you know, put you in a hardship. And that's just as any other person. That doesn't just, you know, apply to the narcissist. But with narcissists, their intentions, it's their intentions you have to look at. They are the biggest, you know, manipulators. They, they constantly, they go on. If they can get by, if they can get over someone, you know, that's what keeps them going. They don't never think about the consequences because they're always in it for the moment. With a narcissist, it's never, they never put in a, a long time thought process like, you know, what will happen or chances are worst case scenario. They never think like that. They don't have those type of mindsets. So with the narcissist, you know, they get everything that they deserve because that's just the life that they live. 
They don't care anything about following rules. They quick to make rules. They expect you to follow their rules. Even though they have no right to set rules for anyone. Because what they lack is self-discipline. They lack self-awareness. So who are they to try to set rules for someone else? You know, the same rules that they refuse to follow. You know, so that's that's just, you know, my theory on the whole narcissist and bad karma. Yes, they can escape bad karma. Just as anyone else, you know. When you're looking at it from that point of view, strictly dealing with the narcissist and how bad luck follows them. I don't think that by chance this just coincidentally happened to the narcissist and, you know, it's just not fair what happened to the narc. We can look at it like that for any individual. If that's the case, you can feel that way for anybody. Bad things happen to people all the time who didn't put out the bad energy, you know, but when we're talking about the narc, a lot of times they cause their own karma. Most of the time they do because they're suffering the consequences of not following the rules, of not being obedient, you know, and if you believe in the word, the Bible says in Acts 10.34, that God is not a respecter of persons. And that's the same as saying that the law doesn't discriminate. It applies to anyone who falls up under it. You know. And God can deliver anybody. But that person has to want to be delivered. You have to want that change. You have to really, really want it in your spirit, in your heart. That is something that you must desire. This is something that I really look forward to working on. It's myself. I want to be a better me. And I want to portray the best version of myself to people, you know, and have a good impact on people, a genuine impact, not an act. Because you know when it's fake. Because the person will start to show you this different side of them very quickly. Because they don't know how to handle rejection. Not only from people, but just from life in general. When you can't have your way, you go into this rage. We see that 100% of the time with the narcissist. They never let us down of, of showing us who they really are. I have never met a narcissist that has ever let me down. Um... You know, and the first step to fixing the problem with yourself is admitting that you have a problem in the first place. Again, which is something that the narcissist will not do. They will never do that. If anything, the narc will admit to their problems in a form of a mistake. It was always a mistake. It was something that they were never aware of. And it's always, you know, unknown to them that they that they behave in such a way. You know, again, it's that that lack that lack of self awareness. And and that's just crazy because it's like they love to point out other people's flaws. Everybody has flaws. But again, you know, do you really know that you have these flaws? Are you ignorant to the fact? And I truly believe that God forgives those who are ignorant like they just don't know. But to those who are intentionally trying to do things to sabotage people and situations around them. It's just a matter of time before they receive their bad karma. You know, narcissists, they love to excuse. Like when you, when they got that good supply, that supply who they've had probably for not too long. But a lot of times they excuse 
a person who recognizes their faults and they admit to their faults and they say things like, dang, that was my bad. I should fix that or I shouldn't have done that or I should apologize. Never ask a narc for advice on something that makes you hold yourself accountable because they will never agree to it. If anything, they would give you this bad advice as to, you know, ask yourself like, well, why are you, why are you beating yourself up? You didn't do anything. You know, and people like that, they will never help you grow. You will never grow as long as you attach yourself onto a narcissist. And nine times out of ten, anyone who's advising you to, you know, don't think nothing much of trying to better yourself. Like, or why are you apologizing to someone or, you know, feel you shouldn't feel remorse for certain situations. Like, narcissists think that way. Anyone who give you that type of bad advice, that's bad advice. You should get away from people like that because... You know, people like that, they will never let you, they will never help you to grow. And obviously, if you're able to recognize these things about yourself, you want to fix it or it wouldn't have come up in the first place. So it wouldn't be on your mind so much. With the narcissist, they love to dismiss the facts of what's really going on inside of their mind. They re- they'll dismiss it. And instead, they'll think of ways to excuse the behavior instead of admitting to it and, you know, apologizing for it and making the situation better. Or trying hard to prove to people that I am trying to change or I'm trying to fix it. You're not going to get that out of the narcissist. So that's just something to think about. As far as narcissists and bad karma, I just feel like it's just as anyone else that, you know, they they think about why is this happening? Why is that happening? You know, if you don't get an oil change on a regular basis as you should, you're going to ruin your motor. Again, with the bills, if you don't pay bills, if you're not a responsible adult like you should be, you're going to fall behind on things. If your intentions are to just, you know, sweep it over the rug or just not care about it at all because you feel like the rules don't apply to you, you will suffer the consequences. That's your bad karma for not doing as you should do. Now, I trust and believe if you do all that you can to get by, trust God and he will do the rest. That's what gets me by. That's what I believe in. You know, that's my belief system. But that's all I want to talk about in this video. Thank y'all for watching again. Thank y'all for your support and being here. And leave your thoughts down below. And I'll talk to you soon.